Heidi ho there friends and neighbors Bobby here today hey folks today I'm gonna to take this stainless steel nut here and actually try to turn it into a ring for my daughter okay now the first process uh, the reason we have it hanging up here is because we are going to anneal the nut to hopefully soften the steel to where we'll be able to actually cut and shape this ring so let's get started Okay, with most of the lights cut off in the shop, I'm going to go ahead and start heating up this nut. And we want to just watch it until it starts to get sort of a light cherry red, and then we want to stop. As we can see with the lights off in the shop, our nut is now cherry red, so we will take the heat off of it and let it cool down completely. Now with the nut in the vise cooled down completely, I'm gonna put a couple marks on here with a Sharpie. And then we're gonna get our cutoff wheel and start making some cuts on each side to slender, slender this nut down to size. Okay, before we make that cut all the way through, we want to go ahead and start sizing this ring. And I know that the size that I've got to get this spring size to is about 620,000. So right now we're at about 480. So we're going to go ahead and take a quarter inch die grinder and go ahead and hog out some of this material. And we'll finish it up with a different tool. All right, guys, we got the sides cut off of it now. Still looks kind of rough. Now we got to get serious about grinding the sides and getting them nice and flat. All right, guys, I want to go ahead and mark the top of the ring here. I want to go ahead and color that so I don't get it mixed up. This is the thickest part of it, okay? Hopefully there's enough room up there to maybe get her initials engraved on the top when we're done. This side here is the thinnest. And what we're going to do is try to get all this squared up. We're going to get it to where it's shaped, you know, from this thickness all the way down to this thickness and possibly even thinner. And then, uh, first of all, I think we're going to go ahead and straighten up the center of this hole again before we start flattening the sides.
Okay, I think we got the basic shape, kind of like we want it now. We're gonna go ahead and put it back in the vise and do the final sizing on it. And then we'll move on to cutting these corners down and actually making this round like a ring should be. Almost there. Okay, folks, hey, we are, we are there. We are within eight thousandths of an inch of a size five and a half ring. And I'm gonna leave it just like that. If it doesn't quite fit her finger, I can still polish it out just a little bit more if, if need be. So let's move on. Okay guys, it's starting to look more like a ring now. We're gonna go back over here to the grinder and thin it out just a little bit more. And then we'll move on to the next step. Okay guys, hey, uh, I think we finally got the basic shape that we were looking for. Um, we're through with the bench grinder. I think it's time to move on maybe to my 90 degree die grinder with a roll lock disc and we'll start straightening up and radius in these sides. And pretty soon we'll be going on into the buffing mode. Okay, so stay tuned guys. That's after running over it with the 24 grit. Now we've got just a regular standard roll lock disc. I'm gonna go back over and polish it with that. Okay guys, after going over with the roll lock disc, doing some final shaping and everything, and getting those 24 grit scratches out, or 36, whatever they were, it's looking pretty good, looking really nice. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start sanding with some 400 grit paper now, just by hand. I'm going to go ahead and go over this ring, over every edge of it, we'll go with 400, and then we'll get the uh, polishing wheel out. Guys, you can see it's starting to look pretty good, there's just a couple little small little imperfections. And you can keep just sanding on them and working them totally out before you start the buffing process. Okay, with our little Dremel tool here, we're going to take a little bit of this rouge on a pad here. 
load it up real good. And we're going to go ahead and see if we can polish this sucker on up to a high luster. We're going to start off with just a slow speed. See how that does. And this is a variable speed uh, polisher here. And we'll crank it on up as need be. Okay, folks, here's our little ring, and we've actually uh, finished it here. It actually turned out pretty good. It looks like it's got a nice luster to it. I'm going to give this to my daughter. I think she's going to be very impressed that uh, when she sees this video and see, sees that I made her ring out of a, uh, a bolt. And I'm going to go get her initials engraved on this thing. Maybe today. I might have to wait till tomorrow. But anyway, guys, here's how you can make a ring out of a stainless steel bolt. Thank you for watching the video today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And please check all of our links down below in the description. We have some really cool stuff down there, all our social media, and a link to Patreon if you want to support us there. Have a wonderful day.